Hello everyone, this is Chris with Stickerfab. Today I'm going to try and do an installation video of the hood overlay on our 2024 Toyota Land Cruiser. Every once in a while I get the question, how hard are hood overlays to remove if you want to change them out or for whatever reason you need to take them off, get a new one, maybe you had some damage. Not that hard. I just started in a corner, peeled it up a little bit, and then I'm gently pulling it back. This one has been on for about three weeks. What I'm going to install in the video is a topographic map one, and that will use the base color white here to fill in the little contour lines on that. If your vehicle was like heritage blue or trail dust, the lines would be that color as well. And the overall finish would be matte. If you guys have a darker vehicle like black and you want me to do different line colors, just be sure to ask about that. I'm gonna go get some detail spray without wax because I don't want to put wax on the surface. I just want to clean it back off. And then I'll get a felt tip squeegee and our graphic and a bunch of Sigafab application fluid and a little seat so I can elevate myself and get that hood overlay where it needs to be. The overall shape will be the same as this one right here, but it'll have that design in it. You may or may not have been able to hear the thunder in the background. I needed it to cool down a little bit and I needed the overcast. So I was gonna wait till late in the afternoon, but with all the clouds in the sky right now, this might give me the break where the hood is not that hot. I can get the install done, but if it starts raining, I will stop this installation and maybe continue it at home where I can get undercover. You never want to do these installs under direct sunlight. It'll heat up the vinyl, the vinyl will stretch. And it'll be just really weird when you're trying to squeegee it out. You probably won't have very much luck doing it. All right, a couple of things. The best thing to do probably before this install is to get your entire vehicle cleaned. But if you haven't done that, at least spray down as much as you can with your speed wipe and take your microfiber to it. Pop your hood up and be sure to clean this trail edge because a little of the hood might wrap over. In my install, it will wrap over because I don't want any gap on the backside between this and this plastic molding. Take some of your sick of fab application fluid or your soapy water mix that we talk about on our website. Spray this entire area down. Be pretty liberal with it. You want the hood to initially be able to slide around easily. It'll help with alignment. I don't expect you to just nail the alignment immediately. I won't. You do want a second person for this install. I've done it alone, but it's definitely easier with a second person. As you peel it off, start spraying it. That will ensure that the vinyl won't stick to itself, especially if it's a little breezy outside. Ideally, you won't install it where there's a breeze and you'll install it in 70 degree or warmer weather under the shade, like I mentioned. I have a stool, actually a chair on this side here, so I can reach, so I can reach over the hood and spray this area a little bit more, put down my fluid. My helper will grab one side and then we'll straddle the vehicle. We're gonna have the middle of the vinyl touch the back of the hood, which is fine. We'll pull it towards my side a little bit. So there's so much fluid under here that we can slide it around. Go ahead and put it down on your side. The way I lined it, there's this little hump right here. And I'm kind of aligning it with that. So I'll move to the front of the vehicle and see if that line goes right up to that hump. See how much room I have right here versus right here. see it's really easy to move at this point. It looks pretty even to me. And what I want is this corner to just roll over the edge slightly. Then the middle of it will all roll over that edge. It helps with the alignment to have these points hitting the same exact place on both sides. 
then your install won't be crooked. You push your side just a little back to where if you're looking at it vertically, you can't really see that. So push that edge back a little bit, so that way. Maybe a little bit back that way, to where almost a little paint shows. Okay, move back, move back. dry up. Okay, so once you're happy with this alignment, take your felt tip squeegee, go to the middle, push up, push down, and you're just going to work your way out from the center. You may be able to see how much fluid I have under here. Now I'll go over to the other side. Like I said, the lines will match the color of your vehicle, but they'll also be matte because of the laminate we use on this that protects the ink, ensures the longevity of the fit install. So it's a little atypical how cool it is right now. It's dropped quite a bit. My watch isn't even registering how much it has dropped, but I will probably need to let this dry out and then get a heat source a hairdryer or a portable heat gun and apply heat to the back of this and wrap it around the back side of the hood to complete my install. And then we can clean all of this up and we'll be done. All right, it's actually a day after my install, but I was going to make the video, actually process it and realized I had messed up and lost some footage. What I messed up and lost was the fact that you need to wait for this to dry off really well in the video at this point, I have my hood open and when you are wrapping it around the backside, you want to take your fingers and just go straight around the backside. Keep on moving it and wrapping it straight around the backside. Initially, don't do this and try to push all of it down and run your finger just down this way. If it's the appropriate temperature outside, which I said was warm above 70 degrees, honestly above 80 degrees is best and you do this, it's going to crease up as you go along that edge. So you want to just wrap it straight around that edge. And there's gonna be a lot of liquid, so just let it dry or use the heat source that I talk about in the next part of this video. All right, so I let it dry out a little bit more and then I used my heat source. I heated all of this up and with my other hand, I was pushing down in the same way that I showed you earlier. Then here's the lie. Once this is down like 110%, you're sure of it, you can go ahead and run your finger gently under there. And if that works well, apply a little bit more pressure and do it again. You're trying to feel if all of that's down. And then if you have any bubbles right along this ridge, which can happen, take your squeegee, take it at an angle and push all the way back to the inside and see if any liquid comes out. Then you might need to repeat the process of heating it up, pushing down. Then once you're sure again, go ahead and run your finger along the seam. Make sure there's no liquid stuck in there. All right, so this is what the final install looks like. There's no reason not to come back out to your vehicle an hour or two hours or three hours later, depending on your schedule, and check out how your install is doing. Make sure that the back is down. Make sure all the edges are down. I would do that before my next trip. Give it a little time. You should always start these projects when you have a little time so you're not unnecessarily rushed. 
Don't do it a couple hours before you have to go to work. You might get rushed. So please like this video, subscribe to my YouTube channel if you have not already, and hit that bell notification icon for the latest and greatest things we are coming out with for the 2024 and up Toyota Land Cruiser. Visit my website at stickerfab.com if you want this for your vehicle.